Hi, everybody. I am uh, Blake Cabot. I am the owner of facepaint.com. And I am here via the magic of Zoom with Prima Barton, the legend. Um, so here she is, um, and in in, in uh, Queensland, Australia, uh, where she is uh, happily ensconced, um, has has gigs in pre as, as gigs in Australia, and she's been on Faba TV and any number of things, and she was representing Maron and all sorts of stuff. So she's been um, anyway. She's a, obviously a, a great teacher, a great face painter, a great artist, and we're um, thrilled to have her. So with that said, um, she is going to be doing on-the-job designs uh, for animal designs. So this is, um, here we go. With that, take it away, Prima. Okay, thanks, Blake. Hi, everyone. I'm Prima Barden uh, from Australia. And um, today, I was asked to do a class with you guys and this is going to be all animals so if you have any request you can ask me as well but I have a few designs here that I'd like to show you and just um, last night I came up with this design okay so I'd like to show you first how I get my inspirations and inspiration comes from anything okay so my mother-in-law have showed me this catalog and this is what I found in the catalog, okay? So this is the inspiration for this design that we're gonna do. Oh, so, okay. yeah, as highlighted from the um, events nowadays, mm -hmm. most designs have to be over the nose. So I'm gonna try and concentrate on creating designs and showing you um, designs that's just around the eyes okay so okay. um okay so first i'm going to i will remove that i will stop your video yeah. for just so we can focus on your great designs okay that scared me a bit that face right there <laughs> hey pam all right so i am going to grab my Um, Filbert brush for this design. Okay, so the first design we're going to do is a cockatoo. I love cockatoos, and cockatoos come in different colors. Mm -hmm. They have a black one, and they have a white one. There's an orange one as well, a reddish one. But this one's my favorite, and I'm going to call it um, Steve the cockatoo. All right, so we're going to use one of um these craze cakes ah. and i think i can just remove that hey is there anyone watching at all because i can oh see yeah it. there are lots of people watching they oh. all say um we got people from milwaukee chicago um, Hello, guys. yeah i'm sorry i couldn't see any of your things but um yeah because i'm used to that kind of uh video classes but i'm just going to imagine that you are all here with me Okay, and Blake will tell me everything. <laughs> yeah, I will, so uh, I'll keep an eye on it for you. My um, half inch filbert brush. And we are going to create this crest around the eyebrows right here. Okay, so from the um, inner corner of the eyebrow and from the corner, highest corner of the hairline right here, that's going to be our guide to where um, our focal and our main focal design is going to be, okay? So now we're going to create the crest. See? Uh-huh. How's that? Can you see the stroke? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm a bit shaky. I had too much espresso. <laughs> 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 it's early in the morning for her. So she's uh, she's dealing with tomorrow. Okay. So I hope um, you guys are seeing this. And I'm just going to flick one going this way. Uh-huh. So it creates a really nice flow to the face. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna use the same brush, but I'm going to change the color into this one. Okay, so that's going to be the face of the cockatoo. So if you guys have your brushes and your um, practice board or just your face, I would love to see you paint yourself and you post a picture on the comments after this class. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Well, it's Facebook Live, so you can post anything. Yes. Put All right. Facebook so, Live. Within this line right here, I'm going to create the round shape head of the cockatoo, okay? Mm -hmm. So I love this board, mainly because I can plan the design almost um, as accurate as how it is to be placed on the real face. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm gonna do that stroke, okay? Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna go back there and grab more of that black color right here. And what this gonna do is going to create like um, a makeup for the eyelid. You can skip this part if you don't want to. You can always just do the head and then just do the wing without painting this one. But I recommend adding uh. this because it will look a lot nicer. See that truck? Mm -hmm. And then on this other side, we're gonna do the same thing while that brush is loaded, okay? Again, depending on the size of the face you're painting, you may need to um, spread this paint right here or not, but I reckon you don't. So I'm just going to fill this space right here. So in real life, this will be a bushy part of the face because of the eyebrow, okay? I'm gonna go back and reload. So how's everyone going today? Not a lot of comments. Uh, uh, Thomas Bartley says hi. Do you know Thomas Bartley? Yes. Hi, Thomas. He says you know where he lives. Yes, I know where he lives and I know how much he weighs. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's an interesting fact. I do not know how much Thomas weighs. <laughs> Because I have um, actually lifted him when I first met him in um, Fabaic um, <laughs> last year. It's all my excitement and I just lifted him and, you know. So anyway, so I did this stroke right here to hug around the um, bottom part of the eye or the cheek. And we're going to start creating wings, um, mm -hmm. feather wings right here, okay? So my goal to this is creating a... Um, a flow that actually into like eternity flow. If you know what eternity flow is, it um, the wings go up this way and then that way, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Okay. Rosa says she hopes to see you at Fabaic next year. Oh, I hope so too. Depending on the restrictions, um, travel restrictions, um, yeah. We are afraid, actually, that our borders for internationals will be closed for three years. And I so miss traveling. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. um, that looks all right. Okay. And which split kick are you using for the gray oh. and the white and the black? I'm using this one that came okay. with your palette. Okay. Uh, the, is this the regular craze palette? Uh huh. Yeah. Just this one. I okay, like perfect. It. Really compact. Shark, I think it's called, or something clever like that. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh that, I don't know what they're called. So <laughs> I'm don't, sorry. don't need to know. Yes. So now there is a space right here, empty space. You can either fill that up with glitters or you can just put stenciling design right there. But because mm -hmm. I don't have uh, 
a stencil right here with me that would suit this design. I'm just going to create a scenery in the back, uh, 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 on the middle right here. Some people would probably decide to put a bling right there, which is fine, but I would like to just create a scenery right there by using this color and using my three-fourth flat brush. Uh, by the way, my brushes are available at Face Paint. Um, oh, true. I'll give them a link to that too. I was just giving a link to the uh, yes. Prima and, Barton brushes. Yes. And this particular brush right here is rare now because uh, I actually have changed um, the design of it. And you should grab them while they're there. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm gonna create a fern. There's a Prima's buttons, buttons, brushes, yeah. Jeez, buttons. <laughs> so I'm going to create that fern mm -hmm. and I'm going to just come from this and go that way, okay? Mm -hmm. Those are some very nice leaves mm -hmm. or feathers in this case, right? This one is actually leaves. It's okay. like um, anahow leaves, we call them, or uh, what do you call them in your country? Palm, palm leaves. Mm -hmm. And as to add texture, we're just going to dab it, like a feathering dabbing, okay? So if this is placed on a real face, what's going to happen here because it's curving right here, you will have either thicker or miss um, stroke uh, paint right there. And the secret to that really is blending it, okay? So we have mm -hmm. a blending brush right here. You can blend that part so it doesn't look harsh on the real face, okay? So anyone who's painting their face and you're probably wondering, oh, why does it look perfect on the board? Well, of course, this is a board. You're painting on the real skin, okay? So you mm -hmm. can just blend it like that. Mm -hmm. All right, and now we're going to the fun part. Is there any question? Zuri thinks this is very pretty. Thank you. It's a new design, Zuri. It's new a new one. New one. We like this. Zuri's great. Yes, I've been watching her as well. She's doing really good on her. Um, paintings, yeah. and she's really nice. Would like to meet her one day. She lives in New Jersey, not too far from where I live. Oh, okay. So I am grabbing. Um, I like I like using the Maron uh, edge mm -hmm. for um, detailed detailed line work, mainly because it doesn't. It's a bit opaque mm -hmm. and it doesn't blend okay so we're going to place the eye of this cockatoo i hope i'm not blocking the view no i think it's okay okay and while this brush is loaded i'm going to create The strokes right here. I'm, I hope I'm not going too slow. <laughs> okay. And just create the swirls. It's it just adds a little bit of interest mm -hmm. to the design. I'm using a number three round brush now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab my number three round brush as well, and we're going to do a line work. And at this time, I'm going to use this black, mainly because edge is a little bit um, hard to remove from a board. Mm -hmm. it's, it will stain. <laughs> and your paint, surprisingly, it um, comes off easily. Crazy. Yeah, we had some problems with the teal, but we got rid of that because it was staining. But everything else, we, we've, we've given that some thought. 
Yeah. Guess what? Almost every brand, every brand has a problem with teal. Everybody it, brand it, has a problem with teal. That's absolutely yeah. true. Because really, it's just a very opaque, strong color. So um, my suggestion when you are going to use teal in any brand, okay, um, paint a different uh, color underneath it first. Like, let's say, um, not different because it will change the color of it, silly me. Um, the nearest color that is plain. Mm -hmm. And when you put the teal over it, it shouldn't change the color so much, especially if you let it dry first. And then it will be easier to remove. Okay, so I just created this shape. So that's the nose and that's a little bit of open mouth right there. Can you see? So mm -hmm. you don't need to use um, white to highlight that because I have used my white already for um, applying all these things. So I don't need to grab my brush again. Okay, mm -hmm. so by doing this, you don't need to grab your white again and put highlights on because that's basically wasting time. Okay, so and I'm going to create a jagged stroke right here to make it look like he is feathery. And I'm going to put that right there. So if I'm going to be doing this on the job, mm -hmm. I'd probably, and, and, and um, it's not a very busy event, I would probably be doing it for about six, five, six minutes because I always choose to add a little bit of blending happening there, especially for birthday parties. But if it's for open to public, all you gotta do is really just paint this part. See that? Mm -hmm. That would uh -huh. work. Yeah, probably three that's... minutes. Yeah, three or five minutes. Finish. R R Rosa asked, "What was your favorite? What is your what is your favorite teal brand?" Well, my favorite teal brand is actually Maron, which is Saints. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said, almost every teal Saints. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I have been applying something underneath it. I apply a bit of yellow or a bit of white underneath it, mm -hmm. and it won't stain me. Right? Just try that. Just try that technique and, and let me know if it worked for you, okay? Because it always mm -hmm. worked for me. Yeah, Thomas says teal and green blues are tough, just tough on the skin. Um, mm -hmm. Thomas also said he loved the flow of this design. He just thinks that's just marvelous. Thank you. I love you, Thomas. <laughs> okay. And thank you for joining me as well. Because I know you guys are, what's the time there now, Thomas? Uh, well, the East Coast, it's almost eight o'clock. And um, uh, Elaine uh, just joined from Australia. Elaine Go, whom you know. Hi, Elaine. How far do you guys live from one another in Australia? Oh, about seven hours. That's a long time. That's that's a, that's a distance. That's by road, but if I take a plane, would probably mm -hmm. about mm, two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. So here you have a choice, okay, on doing this thing, because some people are not used to using a filbert brush. I love my filbert. I almost point paint everything with my filbert ever since I started painting. Because I like adding this line work. But if you're using, um, let's say, a three-fourth or a three-fourth angle, you can always use the technique for feathering for this one. Mm -hmm. But in this particular thing, mainly because of this, the distance between the camera as well, that's going to be hard for me to do. And this is why I'm a little slow. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So basically, oh. that's it. Fantastic. That's a great design. Yes, thank you. Guys, take a picture. <laughs> take a picture. This is art. This, 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 this isn't forever. Okay, and remember, inspiration are from anything. This came from a Windsor Mail catalog for yeah. my mother-in-law thing. That's fantastic. Yes, you can always add flower right there. So now, this design right here have inspired me to recreate my... Um, Peacock design that I have mm -hmm. always been changing for the past years. 
And I would like to change the head into peacock and I'd like to see how it looks like on this uh, design, okay? Mm -hmm. take it off. So anyone have a request, question? Oh, that's a good question. So we didn't ask that formally. So if anybody has any requests, now's the time to throw them out there. Got to be animals, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, I love surprises, you see? Okay, I'll see the, if anybody's got one. I'm the type of the person, the type of an artist who would wing it any day. <laughs> like, I mean, I will design anything on the spot because I just love it. It's, it's just um, like an evolution of art for me. So if you have any design that you like to see, just as long as it's not elephant. <laughs> <laughs> you just hate elephants, huh? <laughs> oh my God, I've been trying to crack the code. I can never crack the code. Elephants we is weird. Uh, yeah, I can see how that would be a challenge. Yeah, I tried it on myself. It did work, but it takes ages. It, it's not possible for really quick, well, quick pleasing one for me, not for my my um, type anyway. So, all right. So, basically, oh, guinea pig. Our first request is guinea pig. Oh, also uh, a giraffe. Either one. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. Guinea pig and a giraffe. So okay. here. Okay, remember this design, yeah? Mm -hmm. So this design right here, you can use it into anything that has wings, okay? Anything that has wings. Just make sure that you place the head over the eyebrows, okay? Mm -hmm. Cool. So that's what I'm trying to show everyone. They can use the same generic form and turn it into anything. So now we're going to get um this looks like closer to peacock color isn't it mm -hmm. mm. so i think we're going to use a flat brush on this one okay because peacock has a really uh, nicer look if we are going to use the exact feathering technique so i'm using a three-fourth flat brush right here you can use a smaller one if you want to but this is what I have here beside me. Or if you're used to using angle, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Anyone painting with us? I don't think, it's not clear that they are. Um, so, uh, wake up, wake up. If you're still sleeping, wake up. Well, so Thomas is in Ireland. Yeah, guinea pig seems to be a favorite. So um, definitely a guinea pig. There's two people requesting guinea pigs. Guinea pigs. Which I find uh, remarkable in a lot of different ways, but most importantly that it's a guinea pig. Did you know that guinea pigs are out of stock at the pet shop? I did not know this. It's my, my daughter wanted a guinea pig. Everyone apparently is buying guinea pig at the moment. So that's, that's the answer, huh? Okay. So... We are going to do a pika head. Now, the cockatoo has a rounder, rounder head, okay? Pika actually has like an almond shaped head and the neck is quite longer than a cockatoo. You gotta keep in mind your shapes, okay? Mm -hmm. So I have this color loaded on my brush and like what I did earlier, I have planned my placement this way, okay? the top corner of your forehead and the inner corner of your eyebrow, okay? Mm -hmm. So basically for people who doesn't know what focal points is, it's, it's always have to be pleasing to the eye. So you gotta keep in mind that your major focals are in the middle, on the sides, temples, any corner actually of the face, as long as you know how to place everything harmoniously. Okay, I'm going to reload this again because I'm chatting too much. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. So on that here, we are going to create the peacock head, which is the shape of an almond, or let's just say a, a petal shape. Mm -hmm. Right there. You see? Make sure that it's at the highest point, okay? 
-hmm. near to the highest point. Because if you get lower here, you will miss the neck. All right? And then I'm going to go on and do that stroke. Remember to turn your brush, okay? Turn it. And then while this is wet, and that there, I just did that. So we're just going to do a feathering technique right there. Oops, sorry. The camera, I think, is a little close. Yeah, a little bit, but it's okay. We can still see what you're doing. See that one? Uh-huh. Okay. So we're going to move on this one. We are going to do the same thing, but this time, this one doesn't have a black on it. And this color doesn't have a black on it. And I always, if you notice with my work, I always like my work to look like a makeup. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am going to grab- And, and why is that? Why do you, I mean, why, why, is that just because you're, that's just the way you, you like doing the designs or is it something somebody taught you or why is that? No, it's, it's just for me, it looks a little bit more pleasing and I like it to look presentable. Mm -hmm. Um, and finish because to me I have grown up seeing makeup having dark line all the time on the, on the bottom of uh, closer to the eyelash and it just um, stuck to me so it's like your makeup is not finished if you don't have an eyeliner kind of thing you know mm -hmm. or lipstick so I have loaded as you see I have loaded a little bit of black right there okay Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to create and follow the shape of the eye going up. See? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to create another stroke that goes that way. It's mm -hmm. almost looking like um, what you might call a swan. Right. Mm. Now, we are going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to create this feathering. So with this um, pointing that way, I would like it to make this um, flow, meet, meet the highest point and flow that way. So I'm going to create these featherings. Can you see having that darker color right there, it mm -hmm. refocuses the eye to um, the other side of the face. You do some really remarkable feathering. I mean, I've seen, I, I don't see a lot of people doing feathering the way you do it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> It's practice, guys. We got to practice. I'm still practicing, always practicing. Never stop learning. So with this one here, I want to match this part, okay? Mm -hmm. You see? So, but if you're doing a really quick job, you don't need to do this part. Just do this part, okay? So I'm going to reload my brush. Am I talking too much? No, you're talking <laughs> just perfectly. Thank you. All right. And thank goodness I am. All right. So now we're going to do more feathering right here. Just like I said again earlier, we are trying to follow the eternity shape, okay? Um, and we'd like to feel that spot. So if you see here, this is blank. Okay, if you have plenty of time, you can um, always add fe uh, petals or flowers right here. Mm -hmm. But in this case, we're going to do line work right there, make it make it more dramatic for adults. And the middle part right here, you have a choice for, um, let's say, adding a contrasting color or a complementing color that would that would um, complement your client's clothing as well. Let's say. This one, what complementing color we could use to this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can use either gold or mm -hmm. uh, a little yellow orangey color. Right. 
So I would when, add some great contrast. Yes, yes. So when I'm creating my design, these are the things I always consider. I do not just scribble. All right, <laughs> so I'm grabbing my number three again. And Mr. Crazy Effects um, Black. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And then, if you're painting an adult, you can grab um, Maron Star Blends. I love Maron Star Blends. And put a little bit of black right here. Okay. Uh, blend it in just like an eyeshadow. All right. So now we're going to create a thin line coming from here, okay? From the end of the head. And then you dip your brush, okay? Line and then dip again and stroke down. Did you guys see that? Not really. Not really. Do it again. Okay. It's my hand blocked it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, let's do it on my arm. Mm -hmm. So what I did right here, I hope it refocuses. So I just have a thin line on the belly, mm -hmm. lift up, thin line Six. on Six. the belly, mm -hmm. and flip down. Okay? Uh -huh. So this basically creates the eye and the beak. Ah, this okay. okay. And That's very beak. clever. Yeah. yeah. That reduces your time too. Okay? So now when you're on the job, you can basically just do a random line like that. You don't need to close all the lines, but in this uh, in this case, okay, I have to move this because I, I reckon my hand is blocking the thing. Oh, sorry about that, guys. All right, I hope this is better. Okay, so I would like to add a little bit of line work right there, oops. That's the word you don't want to hear on the job. Oops. No, actually, uh, one of my favorite uh, face painters, uh, Kathy, always tells me uh, there's, there's no, you never can make a mistake in face painting. It's art. Yes, yes, that's true. And this is why also um, do not like wiping off mistake most of the time. Mm -hmm. I'd rather put something there that, that covers up the mistake and make it work and make it beautiful. Right. Unless it's a super big mistake, <laughs> you know, like right. one time someone asked me for a tiger face mm -hmm. and I painted a dog. <laughs> that's a huge mistake. Well, they're close. What's yeah, the that's, difference? What's the difference? That's the kind of mistake you actually have to wipe off. But if you have like, let's say, line work that is not meant to be there, eh, let's just call it, it's an art, you see? Um, that's, that's that's it. That's yeah. It. If there is no such thing as mistake in that's art. Right. Really. Well, for one, you can always paint over it, right? That's true. That's very true. So right here, okay, you're supposed to put a heart here and make it look like the eye of the peacock, but because I wanted the eyes to focus on here as well, right? So I'm going to reduce the amount of um, line work that's going to be happening here, and I'd like it to move here. So this doesn't mm -hmm. look empty, okay? Or in the job, you can just smudge glitter right there. Boom. Okay, so now I'm just going to create. Oh, God, you can't see that one. A swirl. I think your hand's kind of blocking the camera a little bit. Okay. Sorry. Perfect. Okay. That's better. Thank you. Yeah, that is much better. You got to update me with this. My paint is trying to. I think too much, Prima. Okay. And then I'm going to go back right here. And I love lashes. Oh, God. Lashes. And an inverted love heart. Because that's what it looks like on the real peacock. It really is like looking like an inverted love heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now we're going to create that line work I was talking about right here. Anyone asking questions? 
No, it's kind of a quiet group. I think it's it must be a little late and they're somnolent. I think I think that's what's going on. They're just guess what? It's really strange. Every time I do classes, everyone uh -huh. just feels really quiet. I do not understand. <laughs> yeah, Prima likes talking. <laughs> Anybody out there? <laughs> So it's either, are they picking up something from me or are they just I shy? Oh, I don't know. I think they're shy. I think they're scared of you, Prima. Please don't. <laughs> That's I funny. I, I just nibble. I didn't put enough paint there. Okay, guys, I have a secret right here that I'd like to share you. When you uh -huh. are doing your dots, I love dots. I use the end of my brush. See? Perfect dot. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Those are very good dots. Yes. So. I am a fan of good dots. <laughs> so this one right here, almost like a separate design now, as you see. Mm -hmm. So they can use this on adult parties, just this one. Or they can use this whole thing as a whole design. All right, so right here, I'm just going to do a thin line on the belly and flick. Thin line on the belly and flick. Thin line on the belly and flick, just because three makes a lovely thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to grab this the same brush. I'm going to wash the tip of my brush and reload it with white. Okay, I'm grabbing Crace White. Or whatever white you love. Uh, Iris says she's loving this. Oh, thank you. Thank goodness. Guess what? I haven't slept. Mainly because my husband bought a new coffee maker. Ah. And he decided to make me an espresso coffee. Oh. Last night. Before oh, work. you can't do it. I Well, my, my you know, I've got an <laughs> aunt that um, she can drink espresso and her heart rate doesn't move up an inch. Yeah, well, me, I started palpitating at midnight and I can't sleep. So I said, what the hell? <laughs> Anyways, so here we go. Okay. You guys can add glitters to this. Um, but in purpose of a bit hard to clean. I mean, Jacqueline would, would be a good person to add glitter to that. Um, yes. it's, it's, it's lovely. I mean, it really is. So you guys should take us photo and, uh, Oh, should the consistency, what should the consistency of the paint be for the dots? Someone asked me in sort of a different place. Creamy. Okay. So I'd like to explain you something. A lot of people doesn't like using these paints as well. Okay. Cause every paint is different. Every paint, because mainly of the chem, uh, chemistry that they have in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Crace FX is really easy to activate and it gets creamy as fast as you like. Mm -hmm. uh, and the same way DFX, okay? Mm -hmm. But with Mayron, right? I love using that. It takes a while to activate them, but once you activated them, they are so good to use. And right. the line work stays there too. So the line work, uh, the, the paint has to be creamy. The same when you are loading um, one stroke paints, okay? If it's mm -hmm. watery, uh, unless you are trying to do um, a really wishy-washy kind of color background, make it watery, okay? But mm -hmm. if you want the color to stand out and be more opaque, make sure that you do it creamier okay mm -hmm. so these two are my new designs okay we can add glitters i think we should now one other question came in about what brush number what are your what are your favorite brushes obviously your own i would think would be yes. an easy answer there but um <laughs> uh but where what what kind of brush numbers do you like to use i presume it varies a little bit by um um so sort of what, what you're drawing head. yeah by the size of the face of the people that I am painting. Okay, so here, uh -huh. on the job, I have reduced using sponges, always brushes. And this uh -huh. is what I have um, designed this brush for base or full faces. We're going to use this later. But my favorite thing to use on the job, really, to be honest with you, is this one. I'm just really a simple, flat brush, girl in the hood mm -hmm. and 
my filbert. I can live with just these three brushes and my number eight. I can live with just these three brushes and I can create anything with this. But right. um, if, if let's say you're going to create smaller designs, this is why I have included the number one, the number ones and the number threes, because I know a lot of people are a little bit scared to explore their um, brush controls. So they opt to always using smaller brush, okay? So we're going to put glitters on this one. I'm using essential, this essential glitter bomb right here. The kids love it. And I think this is the unicorn palette. Mm -hmm. And the thing that would suit right here, like I said, it's either a gold or this one with butterflies because it's got, I don't know what it's called. And they have an applicator. Okay, so I'm using mm -hmm. the great applicator right here. Always use an applicator when you're applying these glitters, okay? people, even if there's no COVID happening, <laughs> use an applicator or the back of your um, brush. Well, mm -hmm. it's not a spread, isn't it? Because it's plastic. <laughs> Loopers. Let's just pretend there's a lot there. Okay, next design. Okay, are we doing a guinea pig or giraffe? We are going, I have a line of things first. I wanna do these things first because I know people would love to see how to create chameleon. Okay, fine. Anyone wants a chameleon? They all want chameleons. No, oh, geez, I missed the comments down here. Yes. All right, guys, so I'm gonna use my three fourth flat brush right here. Okay. Not the angle one, just the flat brush. So, and we're going to grab this color and this color. What do you call this um, in your line? Is this rainbow? Uh, yeah, I think that, that's right. Yeah, rainbow and this green thing. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is just for the side of the eye. So if someone's wearing a mask, well then, cool bananas. This design will suit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this color and load it. Mm -hmm. You see, um, regarding consistency, as you mm -hmm. see, I am striking this quite a lot because I like my bristles to be completely loaded. It doesn't have to be all the way to the top, can be halfway because this part right here is actually loaded with water, which pushes the paint down. Okay, now if you put too much paint right up the bristle right here, it's not, it's not just going to ruin your brush, but you will have to keep reloading because you have used all the moist that is reserved on the top of the bristle right here. Did I explain that well now? Very. Uh, someone asked, do we sell uh, paintbrush sets? We do, in fact. Let me get you that link. Okay. So now I'm going to create the head of the um, chameleon, okay? So again, inner corner of the eyebrow and on the very top corner of the forehead okay we are okay. going to this i'm showing you placement as well guys all right not just designs okay so we are going to create a really thin petal right there okay and we are going to connect another big petal which represents the head of this um, animal. Okay, so this is a, this could have been a really good stroke for me, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna make up for that thing. Okay, so if you're doing it, just do it, right? And then we are going to put the body of this chameleon just above. Make a space right here. Don't get too close, okay? Don't get too close to the eyebrows or you will miss the leg. 
So at the back right here, chameleon is a little bit rough, not really soft back, or is it? So we just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle it just <laughs> a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna do. That's a very uh, good wiggle. <laughs> We're going to create that little curl that they have, the signature curl that they have, right? Mm -hmm. Whoop. See that? That's the tail. You can go a little lower if you want to, but if the person's wearing a mask or something, yeah. All right. And then I'm going to load this again because I talk too much. And we're going to create this shape, which is like a comma. Okay, this is okay. the arm. See, it's almost like holding the eyebrows and a, a letter S. Okay, so now the shadow is here, right? So we are going to turn this around and we're going to make the shadow right here because we want to make it look like the leg is protruding this way, if I make sense. Mm -hmm. So when you're using your one stroke, keep in mind that the darker color represents a shape as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that normally doesn't happen when it's painted on the skin. But okay. all right, and then two fingers. That's what they have. Only two. See? So now. I'm going to wash this. It's a skinny chameleon, hey? <laughs> it's not finished yet. I'm going to grab my rainbow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they change a little bit of color sometimes. How, how long do I have? We've got 11 more minutes. Oh, God. I know well, time flies when you're having fun. Is it? Oh, okay. We got to keep going then really quick. So I'm, yeah. I'm just going to add a little bit here. Well, guess what? I'm coming back. Am it's I? It's true. <laughs> It'll be a while, but that's, uh, it, yeah. See? Okay. And now. I hope I actually did give them a lot of um, things to think about when they're creating their designs. Absolutely. Mm. That is a, a truly interesting community. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Tammy says she loves the placement. I couldn't agree more. That's what's um, really clever about what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you. It's important placement, flow, and colors, very mm -hmm. important things. You must always remember that. So I'm grabbing this one, okay? Mm -hmm. You can use what color you have there. And I'm going to create stick right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just cover that eyebrow a little bit. We better not put some on the, back, on the back because it will look like it's pooping. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> those mistakes, okay? Gotta avoid those mistakes. Yeah, you don't want you don't want pooping chameleons. That's one of those things. That's um, that's a that's a no go. That's a no go, people. <laughs> okay, so in the same here, we're just going to pretend that this leaf right here is actually a red. There is trees that have a bit of red leaf, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or petaling because we've used red, uh, green on here already. And if we put green on the leaves right here, it will be just overpowering, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to use that. Can we over time a little bit so we can do what they want? No, mm -hmm. we can't. If you have a stencil, use a stencil. Mm -hmm. Or we're just going to do line work right here. Okay. So with the tip of my brush, I'm loading it with white. Mm -hmm. Guys, remember, I'd like to see you paint and then tag. Yeah, definitely. Anybody that sees this, this is all going to be on Facebook. 
Um, so if you have a poster, you, um, uh, I think that would be great to, uh, for you guys to post it as a response to this. So Prima could see it, or you could get contact Prima directly. Uh, she's, uh, here, I'm just dotting away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Using the tip of my brush this is actually adding a little bit of highlighting and texturing to the design. Okay. All right, and now I'm going to do a quick line work right here. Okay, we went all quiet. Yeah, every, nobody's talking. Nice talk. <laughs> I, think I don't know what that, that is. <laughs> Maybe it almost feels like they're having a little convention class. <laughs> okay. Well, Anna, thank you very much. She said she loves facepaint.com because it has things to learn besides good products. Well, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Okay. And then last but not the least, the eye. All right. So here, the focal of the design is the chameleon. All right. So I don't need to outline this one. And if you have time on the job, you can always blend and create shadowing, which means you just use your dry bristle with mm -hmm. a little bit of paint. Okay. Swirl it on your... Um, Swirl it on your hand or on a towel. See, just grabbing a little bit of paint. And we're gonna, you can always turn this into a 3D. So the shadows are right here. We're gonna pretend that it's all right here as well. Perfect. Okay. This is a dark color is placed right there, so. Nancy loves this design so much. Yes, thank you. Is this Nancy Wu? Uh, no, this is Nancy Poultney. Oh, hi, Nancy. Okay, so and here, see that? You can lift the tail a little bit um, higher by moving your shadow away from it. See that? If you get closer to the tail, it makes it look like it's too close to the skin, but we want that to look like it's a little far up, okay? Mm -hmm. Somewhat, I, I, I bet people already seen that lizard I did um, on my friend before, a baldy head, and it almost look real, they said. So then you can always just blend everything. All right, so are we allowed to have one more design? Oh, I don't think so. I think Whoa! we're- what? Oh, well, heck. If you do it really fast, <laughs> you do it really fast. Uh, which one? A any, oh, you could do a giraffe or um, um, whichever one you want, or the, the yeah. guinea pig would seem to be popular. Okay, uh, we do guinea pig. But, uh, but you got to do it really fast. Okay. Now we'll do a real big one, then a giraffe. A uh, half face giraffe. Mm -hmm. Okay. This, this board is not going to be good for that. Okay, so we're grabbing this color right here, okay? Mm -hmm. And I have my three-fourth angle flat brush. Mm -hmm. How many more minutes? Four. No more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, four minutes, really? Okay, let's go. Four minutes so seems like uh, that would be, uh, yeah. That doesn't sound like a lot of time now I say it out loud. Okay. So here we go. I am doing a real quick speedy on you. So this is how I would work on the job. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it like that. And boom. So this is the good thing about this uh, practicing on a board that actually is almost the same strokes that you're mm -hmm. going to use on the job. Okay. So right here, I created that. And I'm going to grab this one. And I'm still talking. I shouldn't be. <laughs> 
we're using all these cakes and we're going to create like little hairs right and boom and because it's a cute giraffe i hope it i am not blocking Can you see that curve? Mm -hmm. You have to have the cheek curve, okay? And then you can use a sponge on this one, really, if you want to. But if you are reducing the use of sponge on the job, then do this technique that we're doing, okay? So... If this is sponge, I need to sponge it on this board mainly because it's not giving me that blend that I want, okay? So I'm just right. gonna grab a little sponge right here really quick. Add that to it. Fear pressure. See, don't worry about that being a little bit messy like that, okay? I promise it I, will look- I think we're getting some Dutch in here. Um, so I don't, wow, you guys are up late. It's really what, I, what I'm seeing here. And then this is stencil right here, right? If you can mm -hmm. find something that's almost looked like this, but in a bigger size, but this is what I use for, um, what you might call giraffe. Mm -hmm. Bam, four, oh, one, two. Just grab. So the other end of this sponge, right? Mm hmm I'm gonna grab a little bit of white. Because I'm gonna blend because you don't have the color that I wanted. And I'm oh no. To... Yeah. <laughs> on this, this on is this amazing. Color. This is an on amazing design. All right, so here. So that's the color I wanted. And I'm going to do it where the highlights are, okay? Not all over the face. Mm-hmm. It's almost white, but not white. Uh, what should I call? What what color should I call this one? It's not even cream. Still a bit orangey. Mm -hmm. There, that's the spots. That's a real quick one. And then I'm, I grab. I love using my number eight for full faces, mainly because I like an impact. Right? Remember that I like an impact mm -hmm. when the child is on a distance or close up. Mm -hmm. Use thin line on a very beautiful full face, then you won't see it from a distance. It will look like a big blob of paint. All right, so I'm just going to create these dots and then you can even create a little bit of hair depending on how much time you have. Okay. We just put that on here and floop. Mm -hmm. If it's a girl, which I am going to pretend to be being a girl, we're going to add really long lashes. Mm -hmm. Oops. Next time I'd be better at this video cam thing. You're great at it. You are <laughs> great at it. Okay. So, and then the nose, just like that. And if you want to, you can add glitters to that or even blend this bit. Right? And voila. And voila. We can put bling bling on that. Oh my God! Let's. Well, try Jacqueline's bling. here, so you can buy vivid glitters. Yes, glitters and bling bling. Look. Exactly. I chose that color because it contrasts the color of this. Yeah. I'll put yeah. orange on it. It's a it beautiful, disappears. beautiful uh, giraffe. I think that's great. It's so cute, as Nancy says. All right. I hope you guys got something from all my um, chattering and learn something. 
And Absolutely. My brushes are available from facepaint.com. Yes. Oh, and by the way, we've got a big sale on Craze that you've seen. We have 30% off or blowout for Craze. Um, and um, feel free. Yeah, I'm sort of thrilled to have you guys uh, experiment with it and enjoy it. Um, so uh, thank you very much, Prima. This has been fantastic. And we're just really thrilled to have you here. So this has been great. And um, thank you very much. And thank you, everybody, for attending. And uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, we've got uh, a bunch more webinars coming up. So next week we have, uh, it's all on our page uh, on webinars on facepaint.com. If you missed this or want to see an old one that we've done, um, here is the link. And there we go. Thank and you. Um, we have uh, T-shirt airbrushing with uh, Eric Styles next week, so that's uh, that's pretty interesting. We've never done that. Oh, the the black and white palette that you used that was um, Barbara. That was um, the Craze face paint palette that I posted a link of earlier. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye Prima. Get some rest. Okay. Okay, so are you okay, Black? Is that cool? Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Later, bye. -bye. bye, -bye.